Your goal is the long-term protection of restored mangroves. But securing sustainability is often a challenge beyond the project lifetime. Ensuring active community and stakeholder engagement throughout the restoration project is crucial. This is why ecological mangrove restoration is an inclusive approach. If mangroves were previously removed by people, this could easily happen again. For example, to maintain incomes or because they need the wood for building or charcoal. Breaking this cycle of mangrove destruction and declining incomes is therefore key. Develop livelihood activities that benefit from healthy mangroves. This strengthens the business case for restoration and prevents future reclamation. Work closely with communities to create sustainable livelihood activities like beekeeping, oyster farming, or mangrove-friendly aquaculture. You can introduce energy-efficient cookstoves to reduce wood harvesting and establish sustainable woodlots for a reliable fuel supply. Coastal field schools are a good way to build community skills in new techniques. For example, to introduce more mangrove-friendly aquaculture practices. An effective model is to provide financial and technical support to develop more sustainable livelihoods in return for active engagement in conservation and restoration of mangroves. The BioRights approach, developed by Wetlands International, does exactly this. You can engage youth through educational programs on mangroves conservation and restoration. Engage local government to support and sustain restoration through policies, planning and budgets. For example, land ownership and use rights need to be established for the long term. Empower community members to engage in policy dialogues at village, district and other levels, including in coastal planning. Always keep monitoring your site and adapt your restoration strategy and budget as needed. This is critical as sometimes things might not work as planned. Unfortunately, projects tend to be monitored over two to three years as resources are not available beyond a project's funding lifespan. Using remote sensing data, such as through the Global Mangrove Watch, to capture changes and conditions is one solution. Engaging with communities to monitor basic parameters is another low-cost option, possibly along with universities for more advanced monitoring. It's best to involve both the government and the community in budgeting and planning for long-term monitoring. In ecological mangrove restoration, measuring success is not done against the number of seedlings or trees that have been planted. Instead, measure success against the return of suitable conditions for mangroves, such as hydrology, growth and diversity of mangroves, return of biodiversity, and the return of ecosystem services like flood protection and livelihoods. Avoid claiming success based on short-term survival rates. While vegetation can return in five years, ecosystem services may take decades to fully recover. Now, before you start your mangrove restoration project, pause before you plant. Check out the best practice guidelines for mangrove restoration. It offers best practices for design, funding, and implementation to ensure long-term success. We wish you good luck with your projects.